everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make takkejang, a spicy chicken soup with rice from the Instant Pot. This is just the chicken version of the shredded beef yukejang version. So if you guys want to know how to make this, hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. I know this seems like a lot, but it's going to go really fast. It's going to be made in the Instant Pot, so don't even think too much of this. But just in case you guys are wondering, I did say soy sauce for soup. For those of you that don't know, that's it right there. Don't use regular soy sauce because it'll be too salty otherwise, so you want to use that kind specifically. All right, moving right along, we are using two pounds of chicken thigh. You can use chicken breast, you can use a whole entire chicken if you want to, but I just prefer dark meat over white. So grab a plastic glove and a clean pair of scissors and let's get ready to cut away. If you also notice, this is not frozen. I do generally like to use frozen chicken just to throw everything in, but because we need to have the fat removed and on chicken thighs, you generally have a lot more fat on them. I'm gonna use scissors and I'm gonna cut it off with the scissors. Something about knives and the fat that is just harder. You're, you may hurt yourself, we don't want that, but the scissors just works. But clean these up as best as you can or as much as you want to. We all know the fat makes the broth delicious, but we wanna clean it up a bit and do your best with that. Cutting the fat off the chicken is probably the longest process of the whole entire thing aside from it just sitting there cooking on its own. So once you're done with this part, everything's gonna fly right by. Again, if you're using chicken breast, you probably won't have that much fat. And if you use a whole entire chicken, once you're done cooking it, you're gonna have to debone it and, to, and skin it as well. So this just works a little bit better. Or in my, my opinion, this is how I would prefer to do it. But I guess it's up to you and your preference. Now that I have pretty much everything cleaned up the way I like it, I went ahead and pre-cut all my veggies because you guys don't need to see me doing that. But these are all the things that are go inside the pot at once. It's set for the scallions on the side. We're gonna use the big bulk of it toward the very end. Okay guys, sorry about that. I am missing a part of the video where I added my seasoning paste right into the Instant Pot, so you guys are missing this. But what I did do is I went ahead and turned on my Instant Pot to the saute function, added all of these ingredients right into it, and mixed it up with a wooden spoon. And you're gonna hear it sizzle. And once you hear that sizzle, go ahead and add the 10 cups of water to start making our delicious broth. I did somehow manage to catch a part of the video where I do add water into the Instant Pot. Ridiculous, I know, but it's there. And this is why it's the red color that you guys do see. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and grab our potatoes and just put that right inside of the pot. Grab all the diced cut potatoes that you just cut up. I also just recently purchased accessories for the Instant Pot because, you know, I was always just kind of makeshifting my own. But I finally did get um, a whole pack of accessories and one of them was the strainer basket. And what I've done was added the garlics on the bottom, put the chicken on top, put the scallions, the two scallions, and the onion right into the strainer basket because we're not gonna need those ingredients for our soup later. We're just gonna make our broth with all these delicious flavors together. I'm just gonna set these right on top of the potatoes and try to get it to where it doesn't fall down. But we're just gonna use this. All we're gonna do is cover it up with our lid and then we are gonna press the off button or cancel button, whichever button it is that you have. And then we're going to put it on pressure cook for 15 minutes and that's it guys just make sure you put the what is it the knob in the back make sure it's sealed and not venting and we're gonna let it cook once your little buzzard goes off go ahead and uh, vent it and it took about seven minutes for mine to vent in total I've become brave and I'm using my fingers instead of a wooden spoon to open this thing up look at me <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and open up our Instant Pot and make sure you open it away from you so you don't have all the steam rising up towards your face. And now everything is beautifully cooked right inside of the pot and it's amazing. Just carefully use another bowl and remove your strainer basket using tongs or whatever it is that you have. While we set that aside, go ahead and grab two large eggs, crack them open right into a bowl and we are gonna lightly beat this. It doesn't need to be thoroughly beaten or anything else. We just wanna break up the yolk a bit and that's it. Once everything is removed out of your Instant Pot, what we're gonna do is throw the slightly beaten eggs right into the broth of our soup. 
as well as the green onions. I'm going to show you guys in just a minute, but I don't know why. You guys just need to see this part apparently. <laughs> but that's it. That's all you need to do for the eggs. It doesn't need to go overboard. Slightly beaten. Break up the yolk. That's it. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and start chopping up your green onions into like two inch pieces. Okay, so I'm removing the basket into another bowl because you know everything's gonna drip and you don't wanna waste all the drippings. It's gonna be really delicious either way. But go ahead and grab the eggs that we had slightly beaten and we're just gonna pour that right on top. Do notice that once I do pour all the egg right into the pot, I am not stirring it up at all. We're just gonna let it sit there and do its own thing because the broth itself is already hot and it's cooking by itself and you can see it as this video continues to play. Then we're gonna grab those green onions that we have chopped up into two inch pieces and we're gonna throw them right into the soup. Grab your lid, cover it right up, and while we shred our chicken, this is going to be cooking on its own. Now, back to shredding our chicken here. Grab a clean bowl, grab some scissors, grab your tongs. All of this should be tender enough where it's just kind of falling and breaking apart as you try to pick it up. But if you happen to pick up larger chunks of the chicken, grab your scissors and just cut them up into bite-sized pieces and that's all you have to do. I mean, you can wait and use your hands and tear it up later if you want to, but I mean, when you're hungry, you're hungry. So you gotta go ahead and start shredding these up as soon as you can, right? So I went ahead and just pulled every single bit of chicken out and I went ahead and cut it up with the scissors because it just makes things easier and faster and everybody's ready to eat. Also note that I will show you guys the uh, ingredients that we are going to discard but if you want to go ahead and smash up the garlic and throw that into the broth as well if you'd like if you don't want to you don't have to but it's not necessary because we did add some garlic with our seasoning paste if you remember now all you have to do is go ahead and open up your instant pot grab a large bowl put some rice right into it put your chicken on it and then we're going to start stirring this up and then scooping it out making sure you grab the potatoes the onions the egg and the broth you're gonna have yourself one delicious soup. I did use two tablespoons of red pepper in mine so it wasn't super spicy. My kids didn't say that it was spicy at all. If you do want it more spicy, add more red pepper flakes or add just dry chili with the seeds and you can get it spicier that way. All right, you guys, this is the final outcome of the soup. Just season it with salt and pepper to taste. And if you guys like this video, please hit that subscribe button, share it, give it a thumbs up, and until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.